A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with the demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God.
Dominus Fobiscum, Ecum Spiritu Tuo, Lexio Sancti Evangelii Secundo Mateum, Gloria Tibi Domine. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Verbum Domini. As a celebrant of First Holy Communion in my Catholic school, I enjoyed a song the children sang, Let it shine, let it shine. This very simple song stated a very basic truth. Christ is the light of the world. Our role as disciples is to let Jesus' light shine for others and bring them joy. The gospel today has three very easy images. Salt, light, city. Each one of them does not exist for itself, but for others. Salt enhances good taste good flavor, light takes away darkness and blindness. The city is up on the mountain to give direction so that no one get lost on the way. These three images ultimately relate to the mystery of the Trinity. For each person exists in total oblation for the other. The love of the Trinity is totally selfless. Let us take the salt. Imagine how important salt was in the time of the scriptures, when there was no coolers or eyes. Salt was viral for preserving the quality of food. To be effective, the salt needs to dissolve itself. It needs to mix with it. The call is to become salt to the earth. It is a challenge we need to welcome today. It means we, disciples of Jesus, need to be present in all areas of society. Pope Jean Paul used to repeat often, do not be afraid. I hear him say, do not be afraid to make a difference in your job place. Do not be afraid in protecting the immigrant. Do not be afraid to let your friends know that you are seeking holiness of life 
while being very ordinary. Let us take the metaphor of the light. Participating in the March for Life in Washington, D.C. was for me a most memorable experience. Most of the participants were young people, which is a symbol of a future of life ahead for us all. These citizens confronted a culture of death, taking the side of mothers and babies, the darkness and blindness of relativism needs the light of truth. The light of the gospel, the teaching of our faith, need to heal the confusion that might mis misguides people on very important matters, such as the sacredness of human life, the protection of the child and the vulnerable elder, the sacredness of marriage between a man and a woman. Did you notice how St. Paul, in approaching the Corinthians, does not seek to impress them with his own eloquence or with trendy philosophy, as he say, human wisdom? If he did, he would then interfere with God's ways and mislead the Corinthians with his own light, with his own personality, with his own story. But no, Paul's message is the glory of the cross, Christ crucified, which is the light that is to be put on a lamp stand to shine, to shine for everyone, for everyone to come and see and hopefully become a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shining the light of Christ is very concrete. Isaiah invites his listeners to feed the hungry, to shelter the homeless, and clothe the naked. Then, then, says the prophet, your light will shine. Doing the corporal works of mercy is the way for Christian action. And as a surplus, it heals us as well on the way. As the prophet says, your shadows become like moon. On this day of the Lord, we honor God. We are the family of God. We are his holy people. We are so blessed and lucky to participate in the holy sacrifice of the Mass, which is the perfect praise to the Heavenly Father, the Father of light, the Father of mercy, rich in mercy, the Father who is worthy of our love and of our total trust. As Francis of Assisi prayed often, Lord, enlighten the darkness of my heart.